Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us form, fill out that information, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to look at today is the Unify UXG Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the rack, and I'm going to show you the setup. We're going to come look at the specs, and then we're going to adopt it. All right, so here is the UXG Pro mounted. So uh, it comes with the rack here. It comes with a power cord. Uh, these are the Rack Studs Duo that we're using to mount this here. So like I said, a uh, customer traded this to me for consulting hours, and then I bought both of these uh, other devices, the Cloud Key and the Enterprise 8 PoE. So you do get um, rubber feet for this if you're not going to mount it. You get all kinds of mounting gear. And the newer versions all come with a DAC cable. So let me explain what's going on here real quick just to kind of make this easy. So this yellow cable right here, that's our WAN going up here to this switch. And then we've got from the LAN on the UXG to port 8 here we've got port 7 back feeding to a VLAN only up here for uh, the LAN network so that I don't have to physically change cables on computers I just change port profiles and then we've got port 1 that is powering our cloud key gen 2 so let's go get this set up all right so now that you've seen the setup real quick let's take a look at the specs so uh, we um, are, uh, of course, using that Enterprise 8 PoE to power the Cloud Key Gen 2. And uh, the let's talk about the XG Pro. So it has a quad-core 1.7 gigahertz processor. It has two 10 gig ports, two, um, uh, two 1 gig Ethernet ports. So the 10, the 10 gig ports are SFP Plus and the copper ports are the 1 gig. On the back, you've got the plug-in, uh, and you'll see that here in the software where you can, um, you know, plug in your cable modem or whatever. And if internet goes down, it can power cycle that. It also has an RPS connector. So, uh, where uh, folks kind of get caught up with this is that the MSRP is 499 USD, and uh, that is more expensive than a, a UDM Pro and it has half the memory so this only has um two gigs of memory but you got to remember it's not a phone system it's not a uh a uid it's not all the things it is your router firewall and that is it um, and it does it very very well so you're going to see i'm going to do a lot of videos on this because a lot of people say that there are things that this can't do but Ubiquity just changed the vernacular a little bit, so we're going to end up getting into it and showing you all the things you can do because this thing is a beast. So do I think that it is worth the extra money? Yes. If you do not want to be stuck with a UDM and you want to be able to host this, you know, on your own controller, uh, whether it's local, which is what we're going to do here, or whether it's a cloud controller that you have, yes, I do believe that this beast is absolutely worth the money. So uh, you're going to see uh, really the only feature that's missing from this is auto uh, site to site IPsec VPN. And that is supposed to be coming soon. But regardless, you can still set up VPN. You can either use IPsec or you can use OpenVPN. Uh, so that's really uh, the, the big talking point of the specs that I wanted to talk about. That's where everybody gets hung up. Like, hey, this thing's 499 bucks and it's got half the amount of RAM. It's because it doesn't have to be the controller. So it can do everything at the same rate that the UDM can do. So you're still gonna get that high throughput, uh, you know, between three and five gigabits with IDS IPS turned on. So there's a couple different ways uh, that you can adopt this. So you can uh, log into the device. So uh, uh, obviously I'm plugged into the LAN. So the gateway is 192.168.1.1. So you can either log into it this way and walk through this or I've got my cloud key that's plugged in in there and you'll see if I go to devices you'll see that the Unify next gen gateway and both or and the Unify Enterprise 8 PoE are both pending adoption. So you could walk through this 
do it this way, join it to an external controller. But look, if your cloud controller's on site, uh, or you, your your controller's on site, or your cloud key's on site, you're going to be able to just adopt it. And honestly, swapping this with a USG is just as easy as swapping USGs. So let's go ahead and we'll adopt both of these real quick. I'll go ahead and adopt the switch first. And we'll let that adopt. It says pending adoption. So that'll get adopted. Okay, so uh, the switch adopted, rebooted, gave my cloud key a different IP, but now it is, um, it is adopted. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adopt the UXG Pro. And you can see it says that it is getting ready. So hopefully that doesn't disconnect me. But uh, doing it this way, and now we're both online, we don't have to walk through this setup. Um, you can, like I said, if you have a remote controller, walk through this, but we didn't have to do it because we're using the cloud key on site. So uh, we'll just take a quick look here at the device. You can see our WAN information and that we are... Um, set up at a gigabit our downlinks you can see our enterprise 8 there we've got clients guests uh, that'll take a little bit for that to populate and then you've got of course your insights your settings so here's that outlet where we can name that outlet um and uh, it's just there and works you know um here's our screen brightness night mode manage so you can do all these things forget uh, trigger, restart, locate, all the things that used to be in, uh, used to be in a, all the things that you're used, all the things that you can always do <laughs> on other unified devices, you can do there. So there is a lot of things that we're going to be able to do with this. And it is really um, that easy to adopt this in and it is ready to go. So let me know what videos you specifically want to see with this. And if I don't get a lot of crowd participation, I'm going to create my own playlist and that's what we're going to start creating. So uh, this gateway can do a lot more than what people want you to think that it can or what maybe that that's not the case, but maybe they just don't know. Right. Because ubiquity changed the vernacular of things. And so there's a lot of things happening that we can do that we wanted. Uh, but they're called different things, right? So that's what we're going to do in the next video. So I, I really think this is a good device. I think if you're in the Unify ecosystem and you're looking to upgrade uh, the, you're looking to upgrade, you know, your USGs, this is a very, uh, very good upgrade. It's high end and the USGs are still good devices, you know, depending on what you're using them for. But if we go to the settings and we go over here to VPN um, real quick, and we do site-to-site -site VPN. You can see right now we only get the manual IPsec VPN or we get the open VPN. The auto site-to-site -site is currently not working, hopefully coming soon. But if you've got questions about this device, like I said, whatever use cases you want to see, put it down in the comments. Uh, we're going to do, we'll do speed tests. We'll do different types of configurations. So let me know specifically what you want to see. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with a link to become a patron on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel that way. Thank you to those folks. And also our very clearly marked affiliate links are also down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. If you need IT consulting, go to williehow.com. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.